this week on Carolina All Out. Good job. I'm going to be doing the camera business while Josh does the uh, shooting business. It's going to be good. Black bears and bear hounds. This is Carolina All Out. This week, the All Out crew is headed back to the swamps of Northeastern North Carolina for their almost annual connection with the Temple family and their highly trained pack of hounds to chase black bears. You've seen us here many times throughout the seasons, playing part in an old tradition that has been in the Temple family for over 130 years. Chris took his biggest bear ever in season four with a giant Gates County board that tipped the scales at over 600 pounds. Up first is young Ethan, who actually helped Chris drag his bear out and is now up to take his second bear. Chris is spending some time being part of the background and enjoying and observing the hunt. He also gets to switch roles with producer and cameraman Joshua Lawler as he gets a chance to take a bear for himself. The sun is coming up over a flooded cutover and Wade and Doug have found a track that they think is worthy to turn the dogs out on. The temples are always in some stage of breeding, raising, and training hounds. Today they brought some puppies along to get the experience of the chase and learn to pack with the other hounds. The more experienced hounds have picked up the track and now have the bear on the move. The younger dogs hear the chase and make short work to get with the pack to pressure the bear up a tree. All right, I don't know if you guys can hear behind me there. We've got about a, probably about a, another quarter mile to go getting across this cutover to these dogs who've bayed. Just about think I can see the bear in the tree. This is much easier walking than what I've had. There's a lot of water here in this new cutover, but we can kind of see where they are and hear where they are. So we're gonna make our way that way and, uh, and see what they got up a tree. This is the exciting part of me when you can hear this roar. Hear that? Beautiful. Mountain music. It's the cry of the hound. It's what we all love as houndsmen. And uh, so cool to hear it. So we're gonna make our way across there and uh, see if we can get up there. I think I might even be able to see the bear up there. So that's pretty cool. That's a long ways to see the bear away. So uh, I'm gonna get after it. We just couldn't see him back there. We were such thick stuff, but there he is. That's what these dogs live for and what they do. It's what they train all year long to do. And they got him up a tree, so the guys are in there pulling back the dogs now to get him off so we can make sure the dogs don't get hurt. So I'm gonna ease on up there to it, speak to the guys if we can with the roar that's going on. Very cool. Another day in the life of a houndsman, a bear houndsman. Don't go away, bear hunting at its finest, coming up after these messages. 
Carolina All Out is brought to you by AgriSupply. It's what's inside. Carolina Cooker Cast Iron Cookware. Tools, cooks, legends. The North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission. Go hunt, go fish, go wild. Montgomery Community College. Blaze your trail. And by North Carolina Farm Bureau Insurance. Helping you is what we do best. Don't go away. There's more Carolina All Out coming up. <laughs> it took us a bit to get in here. Woo. We're just hot as we can be. And you can see we've got to bear up a tree and the hounds are working. Now we've got puppies in here and the puppies are getting a chance like they were the day before and all that to get experience, to learn how to, to see the bear first of all, to know that he's there and to bark and to let the hunters know, the houndsmen know that there is a bear in the tree. This is what they do. This is thousands of years of breeding to make the hound and it's a very specialized animal. And they can run just about anything that leaves scent, which is any living thing for the most part. That bear will be some of the best eaten bear you will ever have. Good job. One, one shot won't kill, it's good. All right, so Ethan, congratulations on you. your second bear, is that correct? Yes. So, uh, what do you think about the bear hunting? Have you you oh, think you dude, want It's just adrenaline rush, you love it. You just go out here. It's, it's nice to hear the dogs running, and just sitting out there on the road. You just kind of sit there and chill in the back of the truck. You think that's what you're going to do the rest of your life? I'd like to. Yeah. Well, that's pretty awesome. Well, good for you, man. Well, congratulations on your bear. I know that you will be uh, probably doing this for years to come, starting the tradition right. Teaching them young. This is what happens in this part of the world with the hounds, with people come together, create houndsmen. This is a young houndsman coming up, already two bears in. And how old? 14. 14 years old and already, look, he's already dressed apart. He got his Dan's on, radio, he's a shotgun, ready to go. What more do you need, right? Ethan, congratulations again. Thank you. Yeah. Don't go away. When we come back, Joshua Lawler is on the gun with a nice bear tree. Carolina All Out is brought to you by Farms and Land Realty. Selling land is what we do. Creek Boats, the ultimate in small boating. High and dry, work hard, play hard, stay dry. The Dixie Deer Classic, the South's premier sportsman's event. Optima Batteries, the ultimate power source. And by Thorn Broadheads, the world's most accurate broadhead. Stay with us. We'll be right back with more Carolina All Out. like that that are across the canal are always great places to check for bear tracks. Um, bears utilize that. If they can avoid crossing that, swimming that canal, they will. <laughs> Be like me, I would too. But uh, whenever you get to anything that crosses the canal, traditionally you, you can pretty much better check that out every time because it could be something there to show you that the bear's crossed. Okay, we are 
reversing our roles today. I've got Josh Lawler, our producer here, and uh, I've got the camera in my hand. You see these headphones here, and we are back with the Temple family once again here in uh, northeastern North Carolina, up near Elizabeth City. Um, the dogs are ready to go, as you can hear in the background. Hunters are stacking up here, getting ready to to uh, uh, release, or at least they might be releasing down here. I'll spin around uh, down here. You can see the trucks down there at the other end of the road, but we're getting ready to do this like we've been doing so many years is uh, put those dogs on the bear and let's see what we can do with it. But Josh is up. I'm going to be doing the camera business while Josh does the uh, shooting business. going to be good. We got a good rain last night. And we come up here this morning. We were checking this road for tracks and we found one. Bear's been down the road here. We, we don't know what time we circled the block and we haven't seen where he's can't come out. So he should be in here. If we can, uh, maybe the dogs can smell him. Let's give it a try. They're still trailing. I sent some two more dogs to them, and they're just, uh, as you can see, they're just getting there now. So depends on how they take the track if they take it we'll send some more of these puppies with them if not we'll hold them till they pick the scent up a little bit better we can tell by the way they start barking uh, they don't have as cold a nose as what the, the first two dogs we sent out there has got so we'll listen to them and uh, when they get to they get to barking we'll send these puppies to them see how that goes <clears throat> Let's pull down and off against them, we'll send these dogs. Hop in on this side, Ethan. <clears throat> so we're on the back of the truck now, moving toward the dogs. They're not too far in. I haven't looked at the, at the collars to see where they are, but it doesn't sound like maybe 100 to 200 yards in. So that's gonna be nice, getting to the bear. Um, but this is how it goes. We've got some puppies that we're gonna release to get to them. This is how they get to experience. This is how they train. They have to, to hear the, the hound, the pack, and pack to them. And so, uh, so very fun, very interesting to see this thing play out for the cameras. I think they've tree. We're gonna uh, get some leads and go in there and see what see what we got. Some leads, Josh. you guys can hear the melee that's going on behind us. The dogs are getting tied back and we have a bear up this tree and so this is how it, it goes and, and sometimes this is how it ends. Not always. Now this is not a sure thing. Once we get these dogs tied back this bear could take a fast run down the tree and he's gone. Chase is back on again. So it's always not the end but when they're pretty comfortable up there they'll stay. You can make a quick clean kill, it's over, and you move on. Don't go away, more North Carolina bear hunting coming up. Carolina All Out is brought to you by Browning Trail Cameras, Central Carolina Kayak Fishing, Bear Creek Arsenal, Hunter Built Customs, 
and by CWW Insure Charters. From the mountains to the coast, there's more Carolina All Out to come. Welcome back to Appetite for the Outdoors, and I'm Chef Chad McIntyre, and today I get a little reprieve. So we're gonna be doing some bear sausage and eggs, and the great thing about this bear sausage is it's one of the animals that we harvested out on the show. So we've got some bear meat and some pork to kind of fill the casings, and so we actually do a lot of the grinding and, and making the sausage ourselves. and so we did a cased sausage. And so we're gonna get everything nice and hot here on our Carolina Cooker griddle. So we're gonna go ahead and put our sausage, it's been beautifully seasoned. Since we're working with bear on the sausage right here, like I said, you want to get the internal temperature to about 165, 170. You want to make sure it's cooked through and through. All right, let's go ahead and check the sausage. Perfect. And what goes better with sausage but a couple fried eggs? Use a little bit of the uh, Carolina Cooker Cajun seasoning. Toast off an English muffin. I'm going to make a nice little sausage sandwich here in a second. All right, we got our English muffin toasted. Let's go ahead and get this guy off. Nice, easy, quick, we love breakfast around here type of dish. Nice spiciness from the sausage that Chris and the guys make. And nice toasted English muffin here. This is just another fantastic way to utilize some great ingredients. As always, it's great to take wild game out in the field, but it's even better when you can incorporate it into a dish. That's how it goes. It's not always a sure thing when yeah. you have to treat. Yeah, they get to, you know, all the dogs get tied back and they feel like they can make it, they'll do it. Seen it many times, haven't we? Yep. I'll just tree again. Every time you think he's in a tree, uh, you think it's a sure thing. I guess, guess it's kind of like when you roost a turkey, you think it's uh, guaranteed, but there ain't nothing guaranteed in the, when it comes to hunting. So we thought we, thought we had him and, uh, and come down, gone, gone again. So we'll see what we can do. So you can see that roosted ain't roasted, as they say around here. That bear um, saw a moment to get out of the out of the tree, and he did. Um, that's what happens uh, they, when you're tying the dogs back they see their opportunity to get out of there so he did but it doesn't sound like he went too awful far he's actually uh, we can hear these treats somewhere else so we're just gonna make our way in it Okay, Josh. <laughs> Congratulations. I appreciate it, Chris. That was yeah. a fantastic bear. Yeah. 
I appreciate Wade letting me get me on this bear too. You know it, man. That's uh, the temples are so generous. They've yeah. been so good to us over the years, and uh, letting us come down here and be a part of this. And uh, why not? Why not let? Why not? So? Hey, cameraman, give him the gun. He's got to perform. Yeah. Yeah. Josh did a fantastic yeah. shot on this bear. One shot, bear's down. We still got the dogs all here, and the guys are coming in to start hooking the bear up to to take the bear uh, back to snake it back through the woods there. So we don't want to hold them up, but we've had a fantastic time here with the Temples, as always, hunting here in northeastern North Carolina. It is our tradition, guys. It is what we do. It's what we love. And we're going to do this for as long as we possibly can because these guys are here. Uh, the Wildlife Resource Commission is doing a fantastic job managing bears down east, and so it looks like we've got many years to come. All right, cut the tag, and now he's legal. We'll get back where we've got some signal and we'll call it in. The temples have really made something pretty amazing here, you know, whether it be the cabin or the land or, you know, the skin and shed, they, they've really got an awesome operation. And being able to come up here as a camera guy and experience all this was a true blessing for me. And then being able to take a bear myself was, was really awesome. And I still really appreciate Chris helping me out with that. But yeah, this has been an experience I never forget. And I hope there's many more years to come of coming up here. Daisy. <laughs>